Good morning. In today's video, I'll be photographing Crook Peak from Compton Hill. So this weekend, we've uh, had a little bit of a break and come down to Somerset. And it's now about four o'clock in the morning. The sunrise isn't expected till about half seven, but uh, I set the alarm for six and uh, Lisa woke me up thinking I'd missed it because um, it was light outside, but uh, there was a, a light outside the window. So after I was woken up, I couldn't get back to sleep. So I thought I might as well just get up early, take some photographs of the stars if I can, and actually make some interesting images. But right at the top of Crook Peak, um, it's like a big hill and there's lots of little rocks exposed to the, the elements, so they might look quite nice. And that's what I'm going to be photographing today. Spooky. Right, it's, uh, it's a nice little walk through this wood. This is so peaceful. It's just me. Ah, oh, and the, there's a bloke over there who's been watching for the last half hour. Um, but other than that, there's no one else around, so it's it's just lovely. Um, it's nice to get up early and just see the the morning and see the sunrise. It's, it's brilliant. I'm a bit lost. I'm not sure which way it is. Um, I think it's that way, but uh, just need a sign. Uh. Okay, I've made it up to the top of Crook Peak this morning. Um, it's quite a long, long and hard one for this time in the morning, but uh, I've made the I made the climb, and it's definitely worth it. Um, there's some f like severe fog warnings this morning um, across the southwest of the UK and all you can see is fog. It looks absolutely stunning. There's actually a motorway that goes down there, but uh, you may be able to hear it, but you can't see it. So I've taken one or two panoramas. The uh, mist has been coming and going, so I've taken one or two photographs of the fog, but there's some amazing pink light um, over there just before the sun comes up and the sun is going to rise behind you in a minute so I'm going to find a composition because um, you've got these these rocks all around here um, so I'm going to try and find a nice composition that gives me a nice leading line all the way down towards the sun and hopefully as soon as the sun hits the um, the horizon we should get some nice light and then uh, that should be an amazing photograph. Ah, so beautiful up here. I'll just give you a panorama. It looks absolutely stunning. Not bad, eh? Definitely worth the walk this morning. So the sun's just about to come up uh, any minute. So I'm gonna put you down and take a few photos and I'll see you in a bit. The sun is just about to come over the horizon now. So it's just about to rise. Um, I've found a lovely composition down here. So I've got my camera right in front of these rocks. There's a few tiny little um, flowers down there. I'm not sure what they are, but they're just nestling in this um, crack in the rocks and then you've got this leading line going forward and then there's a few rocks jutting out as mid-ground and then the flow goes all the way down there to this this lovely village and then what I'm waiting for is in the background there as soon as the sun comes over the horizon I'm hoping to get some lovely light hitting these rocks and get a bit of rim light and then take the photograph. Um, I've gone for a portrait at the moment but I might put it into landscape a bit later or do a panorama depending on how bright the sun is, but there's no cloud at all above the horizon. So it might be very, very contrasty and too much for the, the sensor to handle. So I may, may not have to do some bracketing, I don't know yet, but just have to see how it goes. But I think this is gonna look absolutely amazing. 
there's some mist and fog down in the valley and uh, it's so beautiful up here there's no one around it's all it's just stunning so peaceful Right, I've just managed to take a photograph looking down using these lovely lines as a leading line going all the way out to the, the hills in the background. Um, but unfortunately, because the sun's right behind me, I'm getting all these legs, the tripod in the shadows. So I'm just going to move the camera a bit and try and get a different composition and then uh, hopefully get that before the, the best of the light goes. I found this really lovely composition down here. Um, there's all these rocks with some lovely striations and there's a bit of a V shape. So it's all leading out to the hill in the background over there. Um, and you've got this lovely ridge of this hill um, silhouetted on the back hill. So you've got that nice shadow there and there's some other hills in the mist. But unfortunately, the sun is directly behind us. Um, over there and it's casting these these shadows with my tripod and the camera on it so i may be able to photoshop those out using a luminosity mask um hopefully because it's going to be quite difficult job to do but uh it looks absolutely lovely and you get some really nice flow from the side of these rocks going down the hill if i move any to any other position you don't get the flow and what you really want is something where You've got some nice foreground interest, but the you get a flow around it, and so you can see all either sides going out into the mid ground. Whereas if I move a bit forward, you get kind of a cut off back there. And if you're too low, this hill cuts off uh, in the middle distance, and you won't be able to see it. It just look, look like two photographs, so that's something I want to be very careful of. So I don't think I'm going to get many photos looking directly away from the sun but if I do go over that way I don't know if you can see right over in the distance just by the sun and there's Glastonbury Tor so I can't quite see at the moment the mist is is ebbing and flowing so you could see it earlier but it's just disappeared so what I'm going to do is just wait and try and get a photograph of that um, I don't know what the sun's doing it's probably going to be right behind it, so I might get a bit too much lens flare. Um, so I might have to wait till it goes a bit higher up, I don't know. But there's also a gnarly old tree down there. I think it uh, looks like a hawthorn. So I might get another photograph there. But the light is starting to get a bit harsh now. So I think I've missed the best of the light, or I haven't missed it, I suppose. Um, I've had the best of the light, it's, it's all gone. There's some stunning light earlier and I've got one or two photos around here. And uh, so I might just put on the long telephoto lens and get some really nice zoomed in photos of these things popping out the mist. Cause there's actually a chimney or a fire or something down there. Um, and you can see all this mist and uh, just a little spout coming out with a load of smoke. So that looks quite interesting. So if I can isolate that, that'll be great. Otherwise, there's little bits I'm just going to look, for, look around for and see if I can get um, before I go home for breakfast. Right, I've just taken my final shot now. I was just looking right over there into the sun. Um, there's a little village just down here and you've got all the mist coming and going. Um, but at the moment, it's um, really foggy down there, so um, it's covered up the village a bit, but uh, hopefully I've got enough just to see the patches of the villages and there's a few trees dotted here and there. Um, so I did a nice panorama of that and I think that's going to be uh, my last photo for today. Right, I think all the, the best of the light is gone. The sun's been up about an hour, an hour and a half, and it's really quite harsh now. Um, there's no cloud stopping it, so um, I think it's time to call it a day. I think I've got some really good photos today. Um, so I'm really happy with that. I've come for a lovely walk. Um, so it's been a really good morning. So I really do hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching it. 
Um, please leave me a message, uh, give a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you next time. Thank you very much.